Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at an actual free-to-play action RPG game that truly changed my mind on the average free-to-play structure and although does incorporate microtransactions, they seem to do it in the right way that keeps me coming back with Jensen Impact. I used to love free-to-play games as I felt they were just demos in a sense. These games usually have some kind of transaction later where it seems that you need to pay money in order to move on after spending about an hour or two getting hooked. As a matter of fact, Enter Jensen Impact, which was developed and released by MiHoYo in 2020, and is available for the Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and 5, Android, iOS, and also for the Nintendo Switch. Usually, the grind isn't worth the time spent and forces you to spend $5 here and $5 there in order to even progress in the story. It just felt pointless until so many encouraged me to check this game out. Missing the Japanese RPG so much, it just was the first thing that really caught my attention. As an open world RPG, the game is based in a single player campaign where you are able to control multiple characters with different abilities. The game lets you have up to four characters in your party as you are able to switch back and forth in battle. You only can use one at a time, but in the multiplayer, up to four players can join you in your story campaign. Freeze! Ta! Ta! Ah! <laughs> The story starts with twins, one boy and one girl, who fight a super powerful being who kidnaps one of them, leaving the player's choice to transverse a new world looking for them. You will be meeting many, many different characters throughout the world who will join you in your quest to look for your twin and also save the world. The writing and voice acting is done quite well and I'm not at all annoyed by the English voice actors like most translated RPGs. It is very hard not to revisit the land time and time again, advancing the storyline, meeting new companions, and able to enjoy this the way you like it as a single player or multiplayer. The visuals are bright and gorgeous. The last great Japanese inspired game that I loved was Tales of Vesperia and the visuals match that feel of the game and goes above and beyond with rich detail, effects in battle, and overall presentation of the environment and characters. This does not feel like a budget free to play game at all. They took their time and really put a lot into this game which I wished for many other JRPGs that were paid releases. The gameplay is fun as the action is very simple to get used to with so many different characters having a different way to fight gives you each one a different feel and personality for that player you choose. As the game progresses, combinations, power-ups, and more become that more complex and visually stunning to behold. You are also able to collect items to craft and make your own food that heals you throughout the world. They are crafting areas in the cities for weapons and armor and many cooking pots to replenish your health. I felt this was a wonderful idea as I have spent more than 25 hours without spending a single dollar. The grinding in this game doesn't feel at all out of this world as the leveling progresses seems adequate to any other paid RPG 
And if you are in need of an extra level, there are so many side quests to help you get there that are very close and meaningful to even the main campaign. There is so much content involved before you spend any kind of money at all makes this a remarkable free to play game, period. I as well as many others are probably shocked at how well this game was constructed and structured online overall. Not to say that there isn't any transactions as you approach the end of the game where it does slow down, but there are truly so much content that it's fun to actually grind by yourself or with friends. Jensen Impact gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its outrageous player friendly free to play structure, great storyline, a wealth of free content, and a great overall presentation makes this free to play game one of the best that you will revisit often. That's it for me on this episode reviewing Jensen Impact. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.